We also need to get a train line working. Um, to do that, we need to put in some signaling. Uh, one way. So let's go there. And here. We'll come down to our next major junction. And put in our signaling going back the other way. That'll be okay coming into the station. On this side of the station, we'll say there. Why did it not do more? It just did the one. Oh, and I did not want to destroy that track. Please. There we go. Let's signal all the way down here. And down here we can put the signal going back. That's got both of those. And up here we should have all four. Yep, all four. Now let's call this the Midlands Packs. Because it's like going across the middle of the map. It's a rail line. We'll call it Midlands Packs. It's colored a dark green. It goes from um, Bunbury to Launceston to Hobart and then it stops back in Launceston on the way back. Is it doing something intelligent up here? Uh, that is like literally the least intelligent thing it could do. I mean like I don't think putting it in that platform could have gotten any worse of an outcome. So we're coming down here, we're coming into Launceston platform 1, that's correct. Then we'll come into Hobart. Well, let's go into the other platform, it won't make any difference, but let's go into there. Then we come back to Launceston, come into platform 2, that looks right. And then we come back to Bunbury. At each of these, we'll wait for a full load for 30 seconds. Just so that if there's any passengers that are like running for the train going, wait, 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 they can still, still catch it. Now to get trains on there, we're actually gonna use our depot over there, if we can, which is part of the reason for this line here existing. Now, we're going to do that. Why is that, why is like that bit got catenary on it and nothing else does? Weird. Okay, so let's go and get ourselves some passenger trains. Oh, they're only set to go north. So to get it to go the other way, we would need to reposition it. To be able to turn this way, which it looks like we can. Awesome. Actually, like get to that sort of angle. Okay, you can probably see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna bring that across to here. And this one can be a double flip. That won't affect that train at all, but it will mean that we can use this depot to make trains for outside as well. How do we make these trains? But well, there's another depot over here. It also, like, it wouldn't have worked because there's no connection across this way yet. Okay, fine. In here, what passenger trains do we have? 
47 million dollars. 220, I mean, it's fast, but that's way too expensive for us. Okay, what passenger cargo do we have? 120, 100, 120 is not great. Probably gonna take these 100k guys. And what? Locomo I've got 160 locomotive. We kind of were looking at 120 with our speed. Or a hundred? No, we said 100 for our speed, didn't we? That that 20k scenario is really gonna be worth it for passengers. Let's go 120. So we need um, locomotives that can go 120. 115 at 758. So he's double the price. But a lot. Let's try this guy and see what we can see what we can get. We want the Okay, so we can get four and he's mediocre. Three. 63 capacity. And that's probably where we want to land. That's nine million dollars. Um, and we've currently got 6.7 million. Um, so that I think is the train we'll make. What if we were to use that more expensive one? Okay, so that's still good at three. So once we get our passenger line going, we can really start to like, we'll probably change then to this guy. We'll get 168 on a train. This is probably where we'll end up. Um, but not initially, not for $20 million. Not while we just, not while we don't have the demand. So let's put, uh, it was this guy on there, it was 115. Uh, we'll put one of these carriages on there, because we can afford one. We can now afford two. Uh, that would do to get it started running. Um, our line was dark green, and it is the Midlands PAX. Let's follow it out and see... See it on its first day in action. The way it came out of there made me, reminded me of something from like Thomas the Tank Engine. I haven't seen that show in many, many years. Look at him go. a lot of pollution is putting out there. Where I grew up there was a steam train that um, ran on like special event days. I mean it basically only had two or three carriages on it um, because that's all it had the power to to haul. Um, let's go into cam mode um, and let's sit up Sit up. Oops. Oh my goodness. Sit up here. Um, and watch him go on his way. Like a, a, a nice over the shoulder shot. I mean, it took an hour to put that line in, but there are a few other things we had to, to fiddle about with on the way. Like he's at 112, coming up this hill. I think we'll accept that as he's gonna do all right. One just hit 115, which is the limit of this engine. This is through the little side tunnel near the edge of the map. And after here, we should see a right turn. Yeah, so like the edge of the map is over there. We should see. Uh, coming up on our right, our new cargo area. Um, it doesn't have any cargo at the moment. There's the house. There's one of our buses. Um, it doesn't look like there's many people there waiting. Um, but this is coming into the, that platform. Um, it's still only half finished, but we'll get there. On re-east. I mean, it's a pretty giant 
platform and we only got half of it done. No passengers by the looks of it though. And then he's going to cross over all of these tracks. So you can see those d uh, double flip switches there. Uh, let you go either way. You can cross right over onto the passenger line. We'll see how long it takes him to get up to speed. We'll jump off off board when we get to Launceston. This is where our four tracks come together. That's like the middle of the tunnel there. Gee, those lights went together pretty well. I got them like spaced kind of evenly. One giant exit for the tunnel. I mean, it, it is a nice looking, just sitting here looking around the map. What's that over? Oh, there's Bunbury over there. I'm just kind of like chilling here. I really need to like fix up some of the sides of this. Look how far it cut into the ground. That's a lot of earthworks that they had to do. And this rock, they kind of just like dug out underneath it and then left it there. Interesting. Oh, this one too. They just kind of dug out underneath and left it sitting over the edge. Probably not the... the smartest thing, but it's a thing. So this is actually quite a long way on this train, going from Bunbury down to Launceston. Would have been even further on that bus. Watch out, dear. I'm going to assume he's okay. Oh, yep, he is running away. He's running away. It's perfectly safe. Just got a massively bad startle. Uh, don't play near train tracks. It's never going to go well. So this is coming around the turn and then going into the tunnel just north of our Launceston stop. And we'll stop there. Um, hopefully we'll pick up a passenger. Um, and then we'll jump off the train and let it keep going on its way. Through another tunnel. So that's, you can see the slight kink there for the platforms, to come, like the trains to come into their right platform. Oh look, there's a guy. We've got one passenger. Two passengers. Three passengers. Exciting. There might be more of four passengers up there. There might be more like under the cover that are in the shade. Seven we picked up. Why haven't we got new things here? Great. Awesome. Seven passengers. How are our other stations going? Down here we've got 10 waiting already. Well, there's two for the bus line that we're just about to kill. What about up this end? This end there is one passenger waiting. That's so exciting. We've got passengers on our, like, already catching up our thing. Uh, we are going to kill this bus line though. Sorry, sorry fellas. You are... Uh been replaced by a train. So hopefully the people that were there will like go, well, well we can't catch the train anymore, or the bus anymore, and they'll walk across and catch the train. I hope so. Otherwise we just, is that a yellow fire hydrant? Oh, it's just like a, a drinking fountain. Maybe that's like a, a power box or something. That really looks like a drinking fountain. That's cool. I didn't know that, that was in here. Um, awesome. Um, wow. Here's our train. Just coming into this tunnel. We had to fix this up. Because this is a main road. I have to pause it to fix a main road. Delete both of those in this middle section. Delete one back on either side. And then underneath here, we want big country road with a bus lane, with a curve in it, going, what's this next one down? Oh, it doesn't like that. 
back a bit further. You like that? Let me tunnel you under. Done. And then we can press play again. So now they're not intersecting our, our railway line there, which we really don't want them to do. Now, one thing that I still wasn't sure about, and still don't know if I'm sure about, is like changing the way we get our planks. Like, should we put our planks and our logs on the train and take them off of ships? I'm, I'm not sure still. And how are we going to get our oil over here? I also don't have an answer to that question. Because there's no way we're going to get it under, like, under there and still have get enough elevation for our ships. Uh, let's try. Let's say we've got our station here. come to like there and then we want to cross the river let's do it sharp doesn't matter but like there's no way for boats to get through there at all um, if we were to bridge that so that's as far up as we can bridge it we'd need to Intentionally take this higher. And I don't think that's high enough. Like, I don't think... We, we're getting... We're getting train... Like, boats under there. So if we go back one step there... Here, like this, and then go up, and then try and bridge it as much as we can. It still doesn't look like it wants to give us anything. So let's go back one more. Let's go to like here. I'm going to tell it to go up on this side a little bit. And now, come across here. So that's trying to connect those together now, which just makes no sense. Not sure how we're going to get that that across there, and keep our um, what are they called? Keep the um, ships able to ship. I mean, short of doing something. We want it to we want it to come into the platform. Uh, yes we do because this needs fuel. And we want to drop fuel off there for us to ship to Toowoomba eventually. How is our passenger line going? He's losing us money. Um, but he's moving people around, which is great. Um, if we look at the lines, bus lines are not doing so well. Everything else is covering for them. Um, hopefully more people will, will get on there as um, as they're desired. Um, yeah, so we want we, we still want it to come in here. Maybe, maybe we can get it to go down there. 
It's just not... I mean, short of coming off here and looping around, maybe that's what we have to do. Honestly. Maybe that's what we have to do. Um, so if we take our track here and come across there. So this would be like the two through cargo lines. So there are two through lines. We'll draw them up a bit further just so that they're... Why won't you snap? It's just being silly buggers. So yeah, you're gonna go like that. And then from here, we want to come like... Maybe here, out to the right. If I'm okay with that angle. There, like that. And then... We kind of do a 180. Big 180, but still a 180. Too much slope, that's fine. So we want this. Well, so that's that's going down there. So can we make it a tunnel instead? No. means we need to come out a little bit further first I think and here go down some and then from there come up that's only 56 why is that 56 Oh, it's just what it has to be to get into there. That's okay. We want this to be a really big radius corner. Something like that. That's three million dollars in tunnel there. Do we need it to be a hundred? Probably a hundred. I mean, 120 would be better, but that's even more crazy. I think we'll settle for 100 net for now. So we'll do that. And then from here, we want this to come back up to the ground level. How long is it going to take to do that? How deep is that? That's just... I must have kept trying to like dig down or something. Take that out to 120. The smallest radius for 120 is there. Which is probably okay by the time we have to connect back into here. around here this 
way. Let's keep it at one, like one. Let's go that direction there. And then here, we're going to want a single platform terminal. We're going to move that to the other side, probably. Before we do that, can we shift the road? This road is in a horrible spot. We need the road on this side. Okay, there we go. There's a road. Don't want this road anymore. What is that? Oh, that was our test bit of track from before. And then here, we want our Terminal. We want it facing in that direction over there. I mean, I can see the track there. You can see the track there. Okay, now this we want to configure. I'm going to add another track down that side. And I want to put a bigger house on here. Of course it's colliding. Okay. And now we'll reroute our road in here. We'll have to turn a little bit. There we go. So now our station is connected to the oil well. And Oil well is connected to that line. I mean, it's not pretty, but it does the job. one of these platforms for now. Say it to there. Then this one can come down here like this. And that track we're not gonna use, we'll just leave it disconnected. Um, and we have no need for that yet, but we will when we get everything set up over here. Let's stop spending money for a bit. Let's check on our passenger train. 42. Man, the passengers love the train. How many are here waiting already? Another 40 waiting. If we look at the details for this line. Oh, is it in line manager? See, I don't know how to understand rate and frequency exactly. I thought that, like, if this was bigger than this, then you're fine. Um, but we got plenty of people waiting. And a full train. And way more... Okay, we need... What do you... You do 140. But our train was 115. So let's put another two of them on there. And we'll colour them all dark green. And then... Have we started paying back our loan yet? We haven't. We just keep, like, we earn a bit of money and then we spend it again. So this is our passenger train coming in. Let's look at all the people here waiting. Look at them all. Taking our public transport. They recognize that it's the efficient way of getting around. Good on yous. Uh, let's just go on uh, fast forward for a bit. Uh, if we look at our lines... I mean, that pack slide is still losing a bit of money. Hopefully it will do better now that we've added more people on there. Food line. Generally doing okay. Some years it's struggling. I guess that's just to do with timing. 
And all our bus lines are losing a little bit of money. That's fine. I mean, it's not really fine, but it will suffice. Right, where's our train gone? Oh, he's taken off already. With how many? 68 passengers. We got another 53 waiting there. And up this end, there is 18. Our Bunbury buses. How big are these? 12. Let's put another one on there, just in case. Can't hurt to have another one. But this is a lot of traffic coming in here. That's a lot of traffic lights that are there that are, my trucks are going through. Alright. I think. Look at him zooming now. They see me zooming. I mean, still not making money. We still got 37 people on board. We'll see how we go when we get to this end. Oh, it, oh yeah, doing the thing because it can't follow through a tunnel. How we go in here? So 700,000 there. Like it's, it's just breaking even. I think. 36 he picked up to go back. All right. We'll take it. Maybe we were a bit went a bit too overzealous with with two more carriages. Let's go back to one. Cause there's still other seventy people waiting there. How many buses do we have here? Four. But there was a new type of bus come out. just generally a bit better in every way. Let's use them. Let's switch all of our buses over to the new ones. Why is there so much bread waiting here? Bunbury to Wagga Wagga. So this is the, this is the, like the long distance guy. Rate 81. Approximate annual throughput per station. See, 90 should be fine. They are... What are they? Just plain boxcars? Ah, uh, just plain box cars. Maybe we want another... Another couple on there. Not too much to hurt his speed. Let's just put one more on there. And if we have to, we will... Like, I also think we need to add another engine on the line. Now that we've got this curve here, we're also going to put in this one. So that they can come out of the depot straight into the bread section. But I don't want both of them like so close together, that's the thing. So let's go fast forward for a minute to let this guy come through, pick up his bread, and then leave. And then when he kind of gets over here somewhere, then we'll create a second one. Like we'll clone him. So this is the Toowoomba one. So it's still doing fine. But this one is not. So we'll wait till it gets over, like over, over this river somewhere. What a funny little island there. Odd place for a tree. It's 
so we're still going on quadruple speed. I'm just waiting for this train guy to to get over here. Just so they're not right next to each other when we clone them. How are our passengers going? Still 57 waiting there, and that train went through before. Okay, he's up there. I'd say by the time we click on him and get the... That was already that cloning done. Now this is a lot of stone waiting here and it's over capacity. So these two trains we want to... They're using gondolas. We want some more gondolas on the back. I was about to say, where did all our money go? But we just bought a new $10 million train. That's where all our money went. Come on, come on, come on. Five million, that's all we want. Just five million. So that we can haul more stone. That's all we want. This is not doing what I asked it to do. There we go. Modify. Did we get this one in time? We did get it in time. Um, so hopefully this will... So 506 is the rate. I think we might even need another train on there. Because this is already... Another train or... Or longer trains? Not sure what we'll want there. Not sure. Um, where's our passenger train? How's he going? That's the one we're really interested in. But this is like so much stone here. How's our construction materials going? Oh, the train is managing. Cars are managing. They're old cars. What are they? Z150s. We can upgrade those. That will help move that con mat a little bit better. Now our stone trains. I think we want to have more gondolas on there. So there's still only 183. Man, we just paid the bills for the month. Multiple vehicles is very poor. I'm sure it is. We'll worry about that later. Oh, we just paid more bills. Wait, how many... Why is our earnings down so much? Oh, because we bought a bunch of stuff in the last two halves. Tracks. And this one will be tra will have been trains. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll get modified. Color them grey. That's too dark. That's too light. That looks just right. So they're up to 180 now. They can move each. So hopefully that will... Like he's coming in here with... Yeah, hopefully that will be that will be okay. Oh, we'll leave them. Let's come and find our passenger train. He's here. With 51 people on board. Seems okay. How are our buses going? Don't think our buses up here are managing. Manage vehicles. Let's put the new buses on there. And we'll put another two buses on the line. Now in Launceston, how many buses did we have down here? We had four buses. Let's put another two buses on the line. 
in Hobart. We've, oh, we've also got the super old buses. So let's replace them with the new buses. And we'll put another two on the line. See, I'm so confused. 64, 70, like there's so many passengers waiting here. That I feel like we need another train. Like he's just left. He's just left and there's still 77 waiting here. But how can it say the rate is 59? Like that, I don't understand that. But it's making a profit now. Well, it was. Like I think we need another... Now let's pause before it gets into the station. Let us definitely add that other carriage back. And we'll go fast forward again. Like I think 84 is... Like he picked up 84 then. Like, that was everyone. It's just crazy. I feel like we need to duplicate it. But it's, what's it going to be, like $10 million now? Because we've got the locomotive and four engines. Our four carriages. If we come back over here and look at what it takes to duplicate it, it was this guy. And then four of these. Yeah, $10 million. How's our bread going? Oh, they seem to have solved their bread problem. Which is good. How's our con mat up here going? This train could probably use another... ...carriage. They're managing. How are they managing over here? They are not managing at all. Not at all. And yeah, they're all. Yeah, I, I thought that they looked like the little man truck icon. They definitely are. So that, like the depot here is pretty close, here they start coming. That's our food trucks. Where are, oh here's our other, other delivery trucks, look at them go. So that would definitely help satisfying Wagga Wagga's demand. Which would just push up demand at all these other places. That's 500, what does this go up to? But it can, it can handle it. When it eventually gets there, it'll handle it. And we haven't even connected, um, Rockhampton in yet. So we haven't done the other half of our station here. Um, I think... Oh, we've gone past 16 million. And our train is heading south. Like our passenger train, so we're going to clone it right now. And it'll come out of the depot over here. Yep, it'll come out of the depot over here. Oop, I can't click it. Uh, we're still on fast forward, so this will go a lot faster than last time we rode up the hill. Um, but it's going to be the same journey. And we'll come back next time. And see if adding this passenger, this second passenger train was a good decision or not. Or if it's just gonna burn us money. But he's zooming. Getting there up in through the tunnel. We're gonna crest the hill, turn right in just a moment. Here it is, sharp right. Like that section of where I would need to be reconfigured to handle that better, but 
we'll get there. Okay, so we're coming through. We're in the tunnel, so we magically stop puffing smoke. We're out, so the smoke can come again. Okay, let's keep going down the hill. We've just left Bunbury. We're heading down to Launceston. I don't even think, like, where these places are in real life makes no sense to where they are in the map. Except for, like, Launceston and Hobart. I just wanted to play with uh, Aussie names in the map, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, look at that. It's, like, basically perfect. Both of them are here at the same time. He's going to pull in and pick up 84 passengers. Are there any, is there anyone left? I, I don't know if he left people behind or not. But having two trains will, I think, mean that it's more likely that people will catch the train because they come more frequently. Which would just mean that we'll get more passengers on the line. It's only a good thing. This is our right hand, so that's our turn off that on the left there, over to the oil well. Um, and then we're coming back in to Hobart here. We made this journey earlier. And look at all those passengers there. How many are getting off here? Well, most of the people got off. 60... Oh, there's 60 odd to pick up straight away. We can't complain about that. I think this line is going to do us very well. Imagine what it would be like when we get the passenger connection at the north end to the other cities as well. We'll just go completely bonkers. Just completely bonkers. Now let's see how these are spaced out when we come across the engine going the other direction. Hopefully it's around Launceston, which is this stop here. There he is, we can see him pulling in right now. I mean, they couldn't be split up like on each half of the track any better. We've got 51 going north. But we'll, we'll stay on board. Um, until we get to the end of the line. Um, but thanks everyone for uh, stopping by today. I do appreciate it. I recognize that this has been a long episode. Um, I may have even split it into two. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit it. Um, I do appreciate you stopping by. If you have enjoyed the content, uh, do give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It does, uh, does help me a lot. Um, anyway, I appreciate you being here. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now. Um, I can't think of a way to make Bunbury into a pun there. Bye guys.